Following the shooting that occurred in Odessa, Texas, Donald Trump is arguing that, hey, you know what? There's really nothing that we can do and there's nothing that you should expect from us. Uh, now, Trump has gone back and forth when it comes to possible gun legislation. But it seems like after the last shooting in El Paso, Texas, the NRA had a firm talking to with Trump. And uh, he's now decided that background checks just don't make sense. Here he is. Another very sick person. So I just want to thank everybody involved. And always you say, as bad as it was, it could have been worse. I've been speaking to a lot of senators. We've been speaking to a lot of House members, a lot of Republicans, a lot of Democrats, and people want to do something. So we're going to see this uh, really hasn't changed anything. We're doing a package, and we'll see what it all, how it comes about. It's coming about right now, and a lot of people are talking about it. Looking at a lot of different things. We're looking at a lot of different bills, ideas, concepts. I will say that for the most part, sadly, if you look at the last four or five, going back even five or six or seven years, for the most part, as strong as you make your background checks, they would not have stopped any of it. That's just a straight out lie. It's just a complete and utter lie. We all know that there are significant loopholes when it comes to obtaining a weapon without a background check. You can go to a gun show and just purchase it from the back of someone's truck. Uh, the way Dylan Roof was able to get a, uh, a gun was the FBI and, and how the FBI only has three days to uh, return with an answer about whether or not someone can obtain a gun. And if they don't respond within three days, well, then a gun seller can go ahead and sell the gun. Well, Full stop, no problem with that. We don't even have to go back in the past. This guy seems to have gotten his weapon without a background check. Uh, it wouldn't have helped, it wouldn't have helped. Well, it couldn't have hurt. Uh, if he had a background check, he could have been stopped. And we don't, it, the cops are saying, and, and even the governor was a Republican a jerk uh, who doesn't mind any of these massacres because he keeps taking money and abating, uh, aiding and abetting them, which we'll get to in a second. Even he says, well, it looks like he evaded a background check. Yeah, because you don't have them at, at private gun shows. You have giant, massive uh, loopholes. And so Trump's like, oh, no, it wouldn't have helped at all. No, it would have 100% helped in this particular case, let alone other cases. That's what it looks like based on the initial reporting. And uh, I, I'm, I find Trump now physically repulsive. Agreed. To just even looking at him, you know, they call it a word salad. In his case, it's like a word would vomit. Just a bunch of words that make no sense next to one another. This buffoon is our president. It's a national and international embarrassment every single day. Dude, we're working on it. We're working on a package. What package? You're not working on anything. The only package they're gonna bring back is the same thing they did in Florida. More guns instead of less guns, because they're all corrupt, because they all take money from the NRA. Okay, so uh, and he, but he said earlier, God, if you're a Trump supporter, you're so pathetic. You're the most pathetic person there is. Because he's actually, that buffoon is someone you look up to. Oh, vomitous. Okay, so he said earlier, oh, we're gonna do background checks after the last shooting. Then Wayne LaPierre grabbed him by the ear and said, hey, listen, you stupid idiot, I own you. I gave you $30 million in the last election. And they did that, and I already gave 70 million to Republicans overall, and 30 million to Trump uh, in 2016. And after he grabbed Trump by the ear, like Vlad does, Trump was like, oh, I'm sorry, wait, I'm sorry. And like the moron that he is, and like he does with Putin, he came out in public and admitted it. He said, oh, I just talked to the NRA, and they're very big supporters of mine, so I don't wanna do background checks anymore. Yep, saying the quiet parts out loud, always. Because always. he's so unbelievably stupid. If you follow him, you're so sad. If you look up to him, I don't even I don't want to know you. All right. So I'm gonna repeat uh, tyt.com slash never NRA. Uh, if uh, you should never ever vote and you should pledge to never vote for anyone who takes NRA money. It isn't about the votes. If they don't take the bribes and then they vote uh, against gun control anyway, okay, it's a free country. But at least we need to know that you're not corrupt. And everybody who takes gun money is of course corrupt. They didn't give $70 million for their health or for charity. Anyone, look, anyone who doesn't understand that is trying really hard not to understand that. Because you'd have to be mentally deficient not to understand that. That's $70 million in legalized bribes. If you're a reporter saying that that did not affect their votes, well, you're doing political correctness. 
well, I'm not gonna say the thing that is super duper obvious to the whole goddamn country because the Republicans would be mad at me. So I am not going to be factually correct. I'm going to be politically correct and say, no, I can't tell why the shootings are happening. I can't tell if the NRA money is affecting these corrupt goddamn politicians. Why? If you can't tell, you're an idiot and you should stop being a reporter. Look, why do you think everyone freaked out at Joaquin Castro when he shared information about business owners in the state of Texas donating money to uh, you know Donald Trump, to individuals who have absolutely no interest in protecting uh, constituents from these mass shootings. They freaked out because it opens eyes, it lets people know why it is that our lawmakers value these loose gun laws over the lives of actual Americans. Hey, idiot reporters, you know what the source of the power of the politicians is? The money, how stupid are you? You should write it in every goddamn article. It's the money, it's the donors. 93% of Americans have figured it out and 93% of journalists haven't. 93% of Americans say the politicians are controlled by their donors and not by their voters. How many times do I have to scream how obvious it is? But every reporter in the country is like, oh, I can't tell, I can't tell. In fact, they'll rage at people like Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. on behalf of Hillary Clinton. I remember Anderson Cooper saying oh, in a debate, are you saying that the donor money might have affected our votes. God damn right we're saying that. And if you're not saying that, you're not a real reporter. You're a schmuck who wants to just have a job. It's not even that, like what is it? Like some of you I know get paid millions of dollars on television, but most of you don't even get paid that much. Right. You just bought into a stupid idea of I need access to politicians. I need to kiss politicians ass. No, they take the money, they're corrupt. The country hates politicians. Why do you think they hate them? Because they take money and we get killed. It's not that complicated. So let's go to Greg Abbott, son of a bitch, pretending to care about the people of Texas. Well, first, uh, he started off with a tweet, and I'm going to share that with you. He said, not only did the Odessa gunman have a criminal history, he also previously failed a gun purchase background check in Texas, and he didn't go through a background check for the gun he used in Odessa. We must keep guns out of criminals hands. So there are so many things in this tweet. Let's keep it up because I want to address it point by point. Not only did the Odessa gunman have a criminal history, he also previously failed a gun purchase background check in Texas. That is not true. In fact, uh, he did have a criminal history and the Washington Post reports that would not have prevented him from legally purchasing firearms in Texas. So just to reiterate what his crime was, he was arrested for evading arrest and criminal trespass in 2001 and received a form of probation after pleading guilty to both misdemeanor charges. Again, that would not have prevented him from purchasing a firearm in Texas. Secondly, he says, he didn't go through a background check for the gun he used in Odessa. Yeah, that's the point, that's the point. That's the point that we've been trying to make, right? There should be a background check for everyone who is seeking to purchase a gun. Now he got his hands on an AR-15 style weapon without having to go through a background check. So we need to figure out why that is. And the state of Texas is, is, so, is called a non-contact state, point of contact state, meaning that they do not require federal background checks. They do not communicate with federal authorities when it comes to background checks. So it's really easy to purchase a gun in Texas by skirting any of the federal background check laws. These politicians are such slime. Yeah, they are and slime. And Greg Abbott is among the worst of the worst. So he comes out and says, "Oh yeah, like as if he cares about background checks. Looks like he didn't go through a background check. Well, what have you been doing? You've been voting against them your whole life. You've been arguing against them your whole life. Right. And Texas has some of the loosest gun restrictions and you just made them looser just on Sunday. And then the son of a bitch turns around and pretends, oh, oh my God, I'm so outraged. It seems like he didn't go through a background check. That's because of you, Greg Abbott. That's because you took money from the NRA, you put it in your pocket, you put it in your campaign and you thought, well, how can I kiss your ass, NRA? I don't care how many massacres there are. Sutherland Springs, Santa Fe High School, El Paso, Odessa, Midland doesn't care. Greg Abbott's never cared. The only thing he cares about is the check that he cashes from the NRA. And he ends that tweet with, we must keep guns out of criminals hands. So what is your solution? What is the solution to keep guns out of criminals hands? Now the argument that you hear from these uh, pro-gun right-wingers is, well, if you pass laws 
the criminals aren't gonna follow the law and they're going to get their hands on the guns anyway. But for the people who buy that incredibly dumb argument, couldn't you extend that to anything else? We shouldn't have any laws because there are naturally gonna be some people who break the law anyway. So let's not have any laws. Let's have complete lawlessness. Let's allow uh, people to drink and drive. Let's not have any laws on the books mm, for that. I got one uh, better, I got one better, Anna. Why do you need rules on abortion? People will get around them anyway. Exactly. The regulations exactly. never work. They never work. It, when it comes to guns, you say they never, ever, ever work. They're gonna do it anyway. Why not on abortion? So which one is it? Do regulations and laws work or don't they work? Make up your goddamn mind. Okay, I'm gonna give you more Greg Abbott. So he says uh, in a quote here, um, I am heartbroken by the crying of the people in the state of Texas, lie. I'm tired of di the dying of the people of Texas, lie. No, as long as he keeps cashing those NRA checks, thrilled, couldn't care less. This, he says the status quo in Texas is unacceptable and action is needed. What action? You're gonna put more guns in Texas, you dummy? Well, he's not a dummy to be fair. He's a perfectly intelligent person who's just grotesquely corrupt. And as long as he keeps getting paid, couldn't care less about the massacres of his people in Texas. So let's go to the next video. Here's Greg Abbott uh, elaborating on his thoughts regarding gun laws. What do you say to people who look at that and wonder if Texas is going the wrong direction to stop a more shooting? Well, for example, one of the, the laws that went into effect and some deal with issues like this, and that is uh, laws uh, that ensure that uh, school marshals, will, more school marshals will be able to have guns to, to keep schools safer. So some of these laws are, were enacted for the purpose of making our community safer. More guns, that's more the guns. solution. Let's more let's guns. flood the country, let's flood the state with more guns. Let's put more armed individuals on school campuses. That's the solution that Greg Abbott has. Is it any surprise that someone who takes NRA money has the one and only solution of pumping more guns into the public? Come yeah. on. Well, you know, uh, people who take checks uh, to uh, sell their um, bodies are called prostitutes. I think we've gotta come up with a new term, because selling your body, eh, you know, you can make an argument a lot of people do that in a lot of different ways, and I don't see anything wrong with that. Selling your soul on the other hand, that's a different matter. I don't know what level of prostitute that makes you, but whatever level it is, that's definitely the level Greg Abbott and Donald Trump are in. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com slash join.